was not sustained. There were some fearsome sights in the VFA in the 1970s and 80s, but not one was more fearsome than the sight of Harold Martin with the steam coming out of his ears on a day when he was getting a bad run from the umpires. And as we saw in that 78 grand final, boy, he could throw him around too. Harold, we just saw a replay of the 78 grand final. What was in the cordial before you took on Sam Kekovic? Oh, it was a grand final, Phil, and uh, that little umpire out there wasn't really good to, <laughs> to our side either, Rexy Wen, but uh, probably because he's a school teacher like myself, we, uh, we didn't get much of a go, I didn't think. But... And you, I... You never had a great relationship with umpires. I'd say you were almost pathological about the men in white. Has it changed since they've changed their colours? No, no, not at all. I still don't get on too well with them. Um, I'm presently coaching in the Diamond Valley and I still, I was up the other year, I just, I just don't know what it is. I'm just a little bit unlucky. Well, in that game, you managed to crack it for six weeks. You got two for a head butting and four for striking unknown players, it seems. Uh, you did throw a few around that day. Well, you know, when you've got a player like Kekovic, you know, steamed up and running at you from 40 metres away with his right fist cocked, uh, what do you do, Phil? You know, you've got, you've got to fend him off, like, uh, it was either that or jump the fence. And I always remember that at the centre bounces, you used to stalk the opposition ruckman, a bit like Brute Bernard the wrestler. I always remember you running around behind the bloke and shouting at me not to cross that white line or you're going to do terrible things to me. What prompted you to want to say those oh, terrible I, things? I, I think that was a bit of bluff, Phil, you know. <laughs> As I say, you little blokes, you know, we had to try and put you off. And uh, I remember doing it one day to... Uh, uh, George Allen, I think he was on the halfback flank, and uh, I was lucky he didn't come in. <laughs> you know, like, we stay, you know, used to respect each other. I think those yeah. sort of players you'd stay away from each he other. Was a, he was a great player. Now, one last question. Kekka thinks he's a superstar and a champion and a legend, and that he was a tough player. Just tell the audience how many you bounced off his big scone oh. in that well, game. I don't, I don't think anyone was really hurt. You know, there's a lot of punches thrown, but. I think there was one, he threw a pretty big left hook, uh, just missed Wilmot in another incident, but uh, in my one down there I was pretty lucky, I don't think he landed one, but uh, I might have got a couple of little ones in, I don't know, <laughs> you might have to ask Sam that.